Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Fallout 3. Now, before I forget, happy Christmas. I do celebrate Christmas, so if you do as well, happy Christmas to you. If you don't, I hope you have a wonderful holiday season, no matter what holiday you celebrate. I hope you get to spend some quality time with you and yours. And if you don't, I hope you play a fun video game or buy yourself an extra piece of cake or a cookie or something special to celebrate the holidays and just get in to be lazy because that's that's how I'm going to spend my Christmas day as much as possible. Being lazy, eating way too much food, and and of course drinking a lot of wine because that's what I like to do. But but anyway, in yesterday's video, we did arrive into Point Lookout. We have received our first quest since arriving here called the Velvet Curtain, where we're going to uncover some espionage that was going on before the bombs dropped. But I, I don't really have any clues of really where to... Well, I do actually have clues of where to go next. I didn't think I did. But... I do. So there we go. That's where we're heading. My other quest that I have that's out here, the local flavor, I need to head in this general direction anyway to go to a mansion. I'm not sure why. I can't remember, but we'll just explore along the way and, and see and see how all of this goes. I'm sure it'll be perfectly fine, right? I mean, there's just like... What did it say it was along the way? A uh, ritual site. I'm sure that will be perfectly fine. Oh, the Naval Recruiting Center. This was what I was kind of looking for yesterday when I was going through the map. Was to... Because they were... You were supposed to send... Inform if you saw this person that we're looking for, you were supposed to send information to the local naval area. Ow! More aggressive than Red Roaches have been in a long time. Maybe Sharon scared them off for me, but I can't. Sharon was not allowed to come to Point Lookout. I'm assuming that's just a, a quirk of the game. Fine. Or so that you're, you can't come and have your companions carry you through the whole experience of being here. Hi. Alright, I'm pretty powerful, I feel like. Nope. I want to kill the creepy crawly bugs. Ugh. Fishing pole. Lots of fishing poles and workman's coveralls. Thank you. Hmm. Double barrel shotgun. I, I didn't actually mean to pick that up, but it's too late now. random motorcycle handbrake. I'm here to report a crime. Someone stole my motorcycle and left this handbrake behind. I'm guessing the information I need is on the computer here. There is just a mini nuke just hanging out. So we have DIA officer's terminal. That's what was mentioned in the wanted poster. So USN field ops Lieutenant Crumfoltz, DIA officer slash liaison. That's who was mentioned in the poster as well. So field report Yang captured slash transfer. Local community informants provided intelligence leading to the capture and arrest of a priority person of interest, Juan Yang, AKA Five Claw Dragon. Yang is on file with DIA as a Chinese intelligence field agent operating within America and Canada over the past decade. Yang has been transferred to Turtle Dev Detention Camp for interrogation. Her office has so far declined comments to press and diplomats. Please have DOD relations advise regarding a public statement. Public release person of interest. Attention citizens of Point Lookout, Wan Yang, suspected communist and Chinese sympathizer, has been reported in the vicinity. Yeah, that's what was on the wanted poster. And that's her picture. Okay. Thank you. That was... That was useful. That was helpful. Although, average safe. I'm still drinking my coffee, so words are slow to come today. <laughs> or they're just going to be all over the place, too. An axe. Confederate. More Confederate hats. Stealth boy. Exits. Okay. Anything else? So where did I need to go for... Investigate Agent Yang's fate at the Turtle Dove 
detention camp, which is way up there. Huh. I mean, Harley's Hardware, was that a place that was mentioned by our boat captain, potentially? I feel like I kind of, I want to kind of see where this quest goes. I'm very invested now to all this, this spy action that's happening. It sounds like at some point we need to find the submarine and blow it up and oh my, that could be fun. Hello, Mr. Mulrat. Thank you for your close up. It was all gross. What is Calvert Mansion this way? But I want to go the opposite way. <laughs> I mean, of course I do. Okay, I want to go to the hardware store. But I also kind of wanted to follow the road as well. I wonder... Does Galaxy News Radio work out here? It does not. But the, apparently the pit broadcast and... No, I can't even... Darn. That's gross. I'm just, I'm just gonna say that's gross. That's real gross. I'm way off the road. Seems very unsanitary. <gasps> oh, it's like a Sleepy Hollow bridge. Oh, those are so cute. I don't get any of this cute stuff. I live in a desert. <laughs> Point Pilgrim's Landing Boardwalk this way. Ark and Dove Cathedral that way. Okay. Hardware store though is this way. And that's where we want to go. Oh, is that the cathedral up there? Wow, that's... I mean, it's falling apart, but it's beautiful. Haley's Hardware. collect a quantum but I don't need it is there anybody else is there someone gonna be here oh I'm a little laggy again huh well hello there oh good welcome to uh welcome to Haley's hardware well we have hardware uh, is something wrong? Who Man whose face I cannot see? Uh, no, no, not at all. I'm just not used to people all the way out here. My usual customers, well, I usually smell them before I see them. Ah. Um, well, who are your usual customers? The swamp folk, mostly. I guess they don't bother me none because I was born here. They mostly trade meat and fruit, and never any cash or goods. The mercs are good for some trade and real hardware. So if you need ammo or anything like that, I can help you out. I'm sorry, did you say swamp people? Is that, was that, those were the words you just said, right? How long have you had this store? Oh, you're thinking, uh, no, no, it's not a family thing. I took the name of the store when I found this place a couple of years ago. Oh. Truth is, I don't even remember much before that. I woke up here with a headache a couple of years ago with the shop already set up. I'm, People what? came in and started trading. I didn't complain. It just became a job. So you lost your memory? How do you know you aren't Haley then? I mean, like, for real. Where did you get your stock from? I found some of it. Uh, some was here when I got here. I got some from the Mercs. And every once in a while, that weirdo with the boat comes up here and <laughs> trades a few good things. Uh, let's talk about something else. Sure thing. Are you here to buy something? Hmm... I have to go now. Uh, be careful out there. 
Them swamp folk is nasty. I, I, I need to turn on the light. Oh, there you are. Y'all here to buy something? Step right in. Much better. Yeah, I can see your nice-looking beard. Um, I want to talk about you, Haley. There's not much to tell. What do you want to know? I guess that was it. Sure thing. Are you... Can you repair stuff? Sure as the swamp folk's head is squishy. Uh, we'll repair that, and we'll be done. That's what I'm here for. What, does he have anything unique to sell? No, he does not. How about here? Psych Raider Psycho Tick Helmet. That's different. Okay, anything in under A that's unique? No, not really. Cigarettes and... Hmm. Okay, well, let me empty my bags a smidgen. All right, thank you, Haley. I guess that's it. Come back anytime. Them swamp folk types are always bringing me new stuff. Thought you just told me to stay away from swamp people. Yeah, I mean, like, how do you know this wasn't your place before if you don't remember who you were before? Okay. I'm gonna cause a, an avalanche of a mess to happen. Stay hidden. Workman's coveralls. No, <laughs> we don't need that either. Okay, bye, Haley. Thank you. It was nice to meet you. Huh. So I could come down here. That's probably what I should be doing. But I really want to Marguerite's shack. And yeah, we're just going to go this way. We'll make our way to Marguerite's shack. Because you know why? Because can't. Okay, <laughs> it's probably all out of order. But you know what? We're doing it anyway. <laughs> It'll be fine. I can just fast travel back here if I mess it all up. I'll, I'll actually, I'll save if I mess it all up. How's that? Cathedral is this way. More of the creepy bubbling. Hello? I don't, I don't want your mines. I just want to get XP for opening them. Where is everybody? Stimpak. Found you. There you are. What on earth? A tracker. Brawler, smuggler, who am I supposed to be shooting at? Oh, I'll, I'll shoot at this guy, I guess. Oh my goodness, I am doing no damage to him. Oh. A brawler. There's somebody else coming up behind me. There it is. Ow, ow, ow. Who are all of you guys? I'm so confused. Who was the guy who I thought I was helping? Okay. Ugh. 
Sir, I thought I was helping you. But apparently I'm not. Okay. Um. There, but I don't understand what that is. There's a large man with something wrong. There's something wrong with your arm, sir. Oh God, he's gonna, don't touch me with your creepy arm. Please. Oh gosh. Talk about a bullet sponge. Maybe it's the moonshine. <laughs> Your charisma grows goes up when you drink the alcohol. <laughs> Everybody's more chatty and friendly when they're a little tipsy, right? I okay, so that doesn't seem to do much damage against them. Then that's 57. 72. I did do a bunch of repairs on that one. Um we'll get out my laser beams and see how that goes. Not that I'm expecting to one-shot people, but dang! It was like fighting a behemoth or something. There's a teddy bear. Okay, it's definitely weird out here. I don't, I don't want any of your whiskey or your yeast or stuff. I need to turn off the come shoot me light. We'll just have to struggle through with the darkness. Scrapper. And this was the smuggler who I saw over. Well, you're, I'm taking a finger, so you're clearly a bad guy. Is this Marguerite's house? Marguerite's shack. That's not weird at all. Um, the tire just popped out of nowhere. You saw that, right? That was okay. Marguerite Shack. Oh my gosh, there's a whole bunch of them. all my stem oh. oh my god yeah you are kind of a creeper i mean i don't want to be judgy but like you're kind of scary uh-huh maybe i should use my devil bone my my combat shotgun Human flesh. Maybe you guys got this way because of the wild punga fruit? I, I, I. Ew. All right. Four, five, six, six. Okay. Harmonica. Dolls hanging on. Look, look at the. Look at the dolls. That's. It's not weird at all, is it? Okay. Storm door to Moonshiner Shack. Oh, this was probably their hideout. 
And that's why there were so many of them. Hello? My, my, look at you. Hi. You ain't have the look of a local young lady. Think you could help a sick woman get on the mend? Um, you're sick? What's the matter? Reckon it's the orange fever. I do feel light in my head. Okay. I've treated enough illnesses to know that there's no such thing as orange fever. Oh, she's li she's lying. I would never have suspected such a thing out of a total random stranger. Orange fever, that sounds bad. Can I help? Yeah, I've got the ma mauve plague, so let's just try not to cough on each other. First one. Now that is just an awfully rude thing to say, sweetie. You're faking. We both know it. So let's just cut to the chase. I did say before I came in here. Well, I... Oh, fine. Maybe you're no hog's fool, but I reckon we both come out better if you can help me cook up some tonic. Uh, okay, okay. Let's talk about this tonic. Secret family technique. Been so for generations. Help me brew some up by gathering ingredients. I'll share the batch to make it worth your while and sweeten the deal with 300 caps. Okay. What is this stuff anyway? Tell you what. Have a bit. This is left over from an old batch, but should be a swig or two there. More than enough to loosen you up, I'll wager. It's just, it's just moonshine. You just want to make, mo I mean, obviously we're in a moonshiner shack. Okay, what do you need? This and that. Let me know when you want to work out the details. Now I'm ready. Let me know what you need for your time. Uh, let's a spoonful of whiskey. <laughs> She's definitely not Mary Poppins. Well, let's know more about her first. Why, well, I'm just folk. What more is there? What do you think of Point Lookout? Things aren't wonderful, but I reckon it's hard all around. My family's lived here about since whew, well before the war. And I reckon we'll be here a long time yet. Why did you fake being sick? <laughs> here I thought you were a quick one. Look, sweetie, I reckon you'd have shot me as soon as you walked in here if you weren't a kind soul. Or at least an enterprising type. Did you build a still by yourself? That old thing's been in my family for years and years. Well before the bombs, there was a time folks couldn't get no tonic by law. Really? And my family did okay helping them get what they needed. I mean, prohibition, but that was... Like, isn't the divergence after World War II or in that time frame? That's when the divergence happened, So, and prohibition was before that, so... Really? I, I mean, anyway, let's change the subject. I thought you'd never ask. I'm, I'm very much overthinking this. Okay, I'm ready. Let me know what you need for your tonic. There aren't too many ingredients, but I brew large batches, so we need a good bit of each. Okay. We'll need uh, punga fruit, yeast, and some fission batteries. Oh. For that extra little kick. We need punga fruit? Punga fruit, and lots of it. The stuff those loonies make at the church is best. Ten of those will do, but might cost you. Wild fruit will do the trick, but you'll need twice as much of it. You mentioned yeast and loonies at a church. I mean, I'm getting all the good info. Well, we'll need yeast. You can find it about anywhere, but there's a big stash on the boardwalk. Three sacks is enough. Okay. Batteries for extra kick. You best keep this one to yourself, sweetie. The family tonic gets real kick from our secret ingredient. Uh -huh. We need just a little bit of battery acid. Oh, don't look like that now. You reckon I'd be around to tell you about it if it weren't safe enough? Bring me six fission batteries and I'll scrape them into the mix. Ooh. Any punga fruit? Yeah, ten from the growers at the cathedral or twenty wild ones. Okay. I thought you... Um, I have to go now, apparently. Don't be a stranger now. Okay. So I have another new quest. A spoonful of whiskey. Bring marguerite, six fission batteries, three bags of yeast, and ten refined punga fruit or twenty wild punga fruit. I can buy some off of the ship captain guy. I won't steal your stuff, lady. I just kind of want to look around and... Ugh. 
So I'm just asking, is the reason people are kind of uh, messed up because of your fruit or your fruit, your whiskey? Is, is that why they are that way? Truck wreckage. I'm just, I'm just wondering if that's why. There's an outhouse out here. Um, okay. There's supposed to be a road in this-ish direction. Oh, how is my... I mean, I don't have a lot of radiation, but I have so many stim packs. <laughs> I'll be fine. Oh, holy crap, what was that? wasn't a nuke a quantum bomb because they said those went blue. Ah. Can you please let me loot before you keep shooting at me? Please, it's really annoying. Okay. These ladies are very mad at me. I feel like she got bloody mested. She did. And I'll take your finger. I do wonder, how do I repair my Riley's Ranger outfit? I imagine with combat armor. Okay. What is with the logo? Huh. group of raiders or something like that I want right past the road again as usual so I need to go to the cathedral over here filled with a bunch of weirdos or something like that for um somebody's shooting at me here now. Feral ghouls. Leverly. Oh my god. They have so much health. A swamp ghoul now. Me. Oh. Oh. Turrets. Uh, five, I think. Sneak attack critical on the turret. I'm here. I'm just, I'm trying to concentrate so I don't die. Oh, it's, um, robots and stuff. I'm getting so much radiation. Okay, that should clear the way some to get in here.
I would love to find a... Um... What is it? I'd like to find a terminal where I can turn these guys to not shoot at me, but just the ghouls. But I don't know if that's going to be possible. Maybe. Maybe in this building here. Let's try it. So I can always come back outside and explore. Door to administration. Okay. Now is when I have to use my sneaking skills, I think. I'm stuck. <laughs> <gasps> okay, hang on. Let's try to find a terminal. I thought I saw one over here. I did. I think I see one. Hopefully it's on. Yes. It is. Camp Turtle Dove Clearance Level Alpha. CO Private Operations Terminal. Alert suspected spy. Well, it doesn't... It doesn't do what I want it to do when it comes to the robots, but it does when it comes to the quest I'm on. Federal agencies have added a new person of interest to our watch list. Dr. Zhang is a, Nash, is a Chinese national defector naturalization agent in Norfolk. Proce processed his defection after jumping over from a merchant ship he was stowed away on. Zhang was apparently in communication with a U.S. Naval Intelligence contact for some months prior. He's reportedly brokered an immunity deal in exchange for his help recovering intelligence from the downed submarine off of our coast. Shang is staying in room 1D at the Homestead Motel off the boardwalk. We're explicitly forbidden from issuing a search warrant against this location, but are authorized to monitor his activities in public. Hmm. Interrogation reports. Personnel must report all intelligence up chain of command via commanding officer. John Doe, submariner. Hunter spent another session in interrogation room B with the surviving crew member from the Chinese spy sub the Navy is attempting recovery on. This guy's demonstrating extraordinary fortitude for a relatively low-ranking grunt. Can't say the Chinese don't make good soldiers out of their boys. I'm sure this one would have gone the same way as his skipper if the cyanide capsule in his molar hadn't been a dud. Hunter requested Method B interrogation clearance, so I'm putting through to Quantico for that in the morning. Incomplete archive. Wan Yang. Yang succumbed under Method D interrogation during the afternoon. Medical examiner called in and verified cause of death as natural for the records. She's filed away in the morgue downstairs for now. Locker TD-0181. We're running out of space down there. Ugh and may need to do disposal early this quarter. That's so messed up. Camp operation reports, escape route patrols. Brennan observed suspicious activity after lights out yesterday. Prisoners apparently snuck into morgue overnight. He had the good sense not to apprehend them before reporting the event. We've known for some time about a, a septic runoff access point in the basement, which would be a good candidate for escapees. The runoff flows southwest camp about a quarter of a mile or so. We'll keep a low profile about this and post guards in the area. They could make their break any night. Meanwhile, I'll try and find an excuse to send somebody down there and check it out without arousing suspicion. I'd rather catch them in the act. Incomplete archive. And then intelligence dossier Wan Yang. Um, Bulletin Yang capture transfer. I feel like I read that yesterday, I think. Person of interest for intelligence file. Yan Wan, suspected Chinese operative, previous incarceration 2062 in Canada, suspected in connection with Niagara sabotage. Yang escaped custody during transport to Albany, New York. Intelligence reports of Chinese activity in Maryland prompted local search efforts which yielded an anonymous tip leading to Yang's capture and transfer to Turtle Dove Detention Camp. 
demonstrates remarkable resistance to interrogation, but yielded classified, connecting the Chinese intelligence community to classified. Admin notice file altered by intelligence officer SN 182-129. Hmm. So she's in the basement. The morgue is what you're telling me, right? Yeah, that's what I got from that terminal. But we'll find out more about that and more on Wednesday because I'm going to pause here today. So as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again on Wednesday with another new Fallout 3 video.